Minister of Sports, Arts and Culture, Gayton McKinsey, welcomed Deputy President Paul Mashatila warmly at his first public event after taking a week off due to his health concerns. Mashatile had collapsed while giving a speech two weeks ago at the Normator Day celebrations in Mbobo. After resting and recovering, he returned to his duties on Tuesday to address the public at the Heritage Day celebration in Fixburg Free State. The event was hosted by the Department of Sports, Arts and Culture with a focus on paying tribute to those who sacrificed their lives for South Africa's freedom. This year's theme celebrating the lives of our heroes and heroines who laid down their lives for our freedom highlighted the importance of remembering the country's history and those who fought for its liberation. Mackenzie expressed his joy at seeing Mashatile again, especially after the health scheme. He told the crowd how worried many people were when they saw the deputy president collapse on television. He mentioned that, that even those watching from home were deeply concerned. When Mackenzie called Mashatile after the incident to check on him, Mashatile reassured him that he would attend the Heritage Day event in Fixburg. Mackenzie praised Mashatile for keeping his word and being present at the event, adding that God's presence helped him recover. He then led the crowd in singing a gospel song to celebrate Mashatile's return to good health. During the event, Mackenzie paid a tribute to the many heroes and soldiers who sacrificed their lives so that South Africa could be free. He reminded everyone that the freedom they enjoy today did not come easily and that many people paid the ultimate price for it. He urged South Africans to never forget those sacrifices and to always honor the country's past. Mackenzie also stressed the importance of unity in the nation. He said that South Africans should not let anyone divide them because the people who died for their freedom did so to ensure the countries are remained united. According to Mackenzie, South Africans should decide who they are as a nation and not let their enemies define them. When Mashatile took the stage, he reassured everyone that he was feeling much better after his week of rest. He shared how Mackenzie had asked if he would be able to attend the event in Fixburg, and Mashatile confidently replied that he would definitely be there. He also thanked God for his recovery and expressed his happiness to be at the celebration. As part of South Africa's commemoration of 30 years of democracy, Mashatile announced that the government would soon receive the remains of 49 liberation fighters who died in exile. These remains will be brought back from Zambia and Zimbabwe, and the homecoming ceremony will take place on Friday. The event will be led by Mackenzie and Njimu Tsekha, the Minister of Defense and Military Veterans. This repatriation is part of the Resistance and Liberation Heritage Route project, which aims to honor and preserve the memories of those who fought for the country's freedom, Mashatile reminded everyone to never forget the sacrifices made by those who fought for their independence. To conclude the celebration, Mackenzie invited the attendees to showcase their traditional clothing. The crowd eagerly responded, proudly displaying their colorful outfits. Mackenzie praised the beauty of the display, telling everyone that this was a perfect representation of South Africa's rich and diverse culture.